This video is a quick tutorial on how to migrate from an older version of our SCADA data gateway, version 4.2 or older, to our newly designed versions, which is anything 5.1 or greater. Before I show you the step-by-step -step instructions on how to migrate, I'd like to talk to you briefly about why you should upgrade. The new SCADA data gateway is built on an extremely reliable platform, which now includes support for both Windows and Linux machines. This version of our SCADA data gateway has been redesigned to incorporate a web-based user interface. The user interface has a familiar look and feel from our previous versions, so the learning curve is minimal. But the browser-based interface allows for remote configuration and monitoring of gateway operations. New features that you'll find in this version include user access management to give individual users access to the tools that they need based on their role, audit logging for user access control to review historical data on actions performed by each of the users, workspace support for quickly swapping between different configurations of your gateway, protocol and system logging with added filters to quickly locate event data, the ability to drag and drop multiple points for more efficient mapping, an added special view to quickly see the performance metrics and the health of the system, and finally, the new ability to search and filter on points lists from the web interface to display all the data that you're most interested in. So now that we've talked about that, let's move on to how to actually migrate. If you had our old gateway, it should look something like this. The first thing that you'll want to do to migrate is to save your old workspace and configuration files and close the application. So you can do File, Save. And then after saving, you can go ahead and close down the SCADA data gateway application. There's no reason to save again. Then what you'll need to do is run the installer for your SCADA data gateway 5.2 or higher. You'll want to run it as administrator. Now this screen is very important as you can tell by the large lettering. You'll need to have a credentials to log into your SCADA data gateway and set it up. That information is displayed here. Afterward, click I understand, then next. Now we're going to go through the normal SCADA data gateway install process. For time's sake, I'm going to go ahead and speed this section up a little bit. So this next space is how we actually do our workspace migration. This will set up your first workspace from your default configuration from your previous SCADA data gateway. So this is the tool you'll be working with. The first thing you'll need to do is select your INI. So you can find your INI file at the normal install place, or if you pick somewhere specific, you can navigate there. Normally, it is in Program Data, Triangle Microworks, SCADA Data Gateway, and it is called tmwgateway.ini. You can give it your workspace a new name if you don't want to just use your INI's name. Then, you can go ahead and migrate your workspace if the defaults for the workspace configuration location is to your liking. So a lot of stuff will output here and you can navigate through to look at your errors and your warnings and any of your other logging information. Most importantly, you wanna see migration done at the end and verify that there are zero errors. You can also copy this out to a clipboard or use the workspace as your default for your first startup of your new gateway. From here, you just hit the X or hit OK and then click Finish. From there, a simple restart should get you ready to go.